John Gibbons for the Anfield Wrap and uh, we're in the AXA training centre, it's the first time I've been in, uh, which is very exciting but even more excited to be joined uh, by superstar Diogo Jota. Diogo, thank you so much for giving us some time, especially this week. Yeah, no problem, mate. How are you? Yeah, very good, good. thanks. Yeah, yeah, I'm buzzing. You know, we won 6-0 last night, <laughs> you've got a final to look forward to on Sunday. You must feel like the energy here is, is incredible at the moment. Yeah, I would say happy days, no? Uh, <laughs> obviously, uh, everything is going well for us at the moment. Uh, um, the league is coming back, uh, all the competitions. Uh, so, uh, exciting times. And uh, now in the final third of the season, we are all looking forward to, to seal it off with uh, trophies, obviously. Yeah, uh, I've obviously got to ask you about the ankle. Uh, how is it? We all want to see you uh, on the pitch on Sunday. Yeah. Uh, how's it looking so far? Yeah, no more than me. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's improving, obviously, but we are um, r a little bit racing against the time, I would say. But uh, it's getting better and hopefully I could um, uh, be training with the team before that. So be, to be a part in that final game. Yeah, so it's just hopeful at the moment and so trying yeah. everything you can. I'm yeah. not going to get any closer than this to you, by the way. I don't <laughs> no, want to no. slip I, I have treatment. I'm going to have a treatment as well after this. And uh, yeah, we are doing everything we can yeah. uh, for that. I mean, you, you must be desperate to play in the final because big games like this is presumably one of the reasons you, you join Liverpool is to, is to play in finals, to, to play in these big games. So yeah, you must be so keen to, to get out there on Sunday. Yeah, like I said, no one wants it more than me, obviously, uh, being a part of uh, reaching the final. So I want to be involved in that final in any way. Uh, I'll be there anyway, supporting uh, the team if I'm not playing. But uh, we all want the same. We all want the, the title and that's what we are going to fight for on Sunday. Yeah, I think especially for you as well, you've been such a key part of, of this run to the final. Yeah. I want to talk a little bit in particular about that, that Arsenal game. Uh, it was 0-0 at home and then, and then we went to, to the Emirates and, and the team were brilliant. But you, yeah. you were sensational that night. Um, did you... Sort of, were you more conscious that obviously, you know, Mo and Sadio were away? Did you feel like a little bit more pressure on yourself? Not necessarily pressure, but you knew, well, you know, it's, it's on me to get the goals tonight. Do you go in or do you just sort of play your normal game? No, just trying to play your normal. I don't overthink. Uh, I'm that kind of guy that just, uh, just be quiet and do, do your job. And uh, I, I trust everybody. Even without Sadio and Mo, we are able to, to win games like we showed. If he's not me, even Ox. Uh, stepped up in, yeah. the, in the moments, he scored some important goals for us. So we, we are a team and obviously uh, if they are not there, somebody else will be there and I, I truly believe that we have a, a very good squad to, to fight uh, for everything like, I, like we are doing. But obviously it's always special when you get a, grab a couple of goals. Um, even in the first game, um, uh, the sent-off was a, was a foul on me. Uh, I was expecting us to, to kind of win it that game, yeah. but it didn't really work out, unfortunately. But I was always confident that we could go to, to Emirates and, and win. And that's what we did. Yeah, yeah there was a, a great away support uh, yeah. that night and the second goal was right in front of them. And it, it was a funny one, wasn't it? Because you, you put it in and the, the flag goes up and then yeah. there's the big wait. But then the big celebration and you all kind of decided <laughs> to run over. It was, it was a nice moment. Yeah, nice and strange because I was not really expecting the, the linesman to give an offside. I was really going for it, for the celebrations. And then when I see, I was no, oh, no, I, I said it straight away. I'm not, I'm not offside. Uh, and unfortunately for me and for the team, I was not. But uh, it's such, it kind of kills the moment a little bit, I would say. Uh, you still, after that, obviously you celebrate because the 2 nil almost in the end. Uh, but it, I would say it kills a bit of the joy of the, the celebration at the moment. Well, you, you, did, you did your best um, sort yeah. of in the moment to, to celebrate. It was a big goal. You said before there you were saying you weren't offside. Do, do you know as a footballer you're not or are you just sort of trying it on a little bit? No, to be honest, I told everyone uh, after that I really thought I was not offside. Yeah. Um, sometimes you, you, you kind of don't know because it's obviously too quick, everything. But that one I just felt I was on. Mm. Um, and I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were right. No, um, so fair play. I think that was the night as well where you know, it, was a, it was a big away allocation and you could really hear that the fans sort of all, all, all yeah. night. I was, uh, wasn't was fortunate enough to, to go. I think my, my little girl was like one week old or something, so I was very much at home. But watch it on the telly and you could hear the fans, but you could also hear your song booming. And was that the first time that you became sort of aware of it or was it a couple of times before that where you'd yeah, heard your song? Yeah, I think it was that game. I was not quite sure what they were saying. <laughs> um, we had a talk in the, 
in the physio room after that, after the game, uh, with Chris, he always pays attention. Uh, he was, uh, did, you, did you hear? And I was, yes, but I'm not sure what they're saying. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that game, it really kicked off and it was uh, just a proud moment for me uh, because obviously big supporters and uh, to have your name in a chant, let's say like that, it's, it's massive and it's a moment and a reason to be proud of. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've got a little video of the concourse that night. I don't know if okay. you've seen this, so we just want to show you a little video of, uh, of everyone bouncing. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> I'm desperate to join in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 great. Like I said, uh, I'll share right here um, a moment because this I won't say it's the same, but it's similar. And when I was a kid, and uh, Dimitri Payet, um, he was playing for West Ham, I think, and yeah. uh, their fans had, uh, I'll say, similar. They were not in the state. I think they were in the in the station or something. But there was a guy, uh, and they were all singing a, a, a song for him. And I remember that went kind of viral in Portugal. And in my team where I was playing, we kind of watched. Look at this. And, yeah. And uh, when I saw this video, I all, almost uh, instantaneously remembered that moment. And uh, well, it's just nice. And uh, by that that time, I'll never imagine one day it will be. Uh, Liverpool fans singing my name, so yeah, it's it's great. Yeah, it's and you great. feel that love. Yeah, I feel like um, one more big step in my career, and I feel like it is uh, the correct one once again, and that's that's magnificent to 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 see and to realize. I mean, everyone loves the song. One fellow who might not is Luis Figo. I don't know whether yeah. he's been, has he been on to you saying, yeah, what's this? No, well, <laughs> I haven't really met him, um, although he's Portuguese and obviously he won the Ballon d'Or and yeah. something like that. You kind of say it's a bit unfair, obviously, <laughs> to him. Uh, but at these moments, uh, you need, uh, I think, uh, it's more about me and, yeah. you know, kind of mention some big uh, Portuguese name. I won't think he's going uh, mad because of it. <laughs> um, it's also good people remember him. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's 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 nice. Maybe not as nice for him, but it's nice <laughs> for me. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, the round before as well, I wanted to talk about a little bit against against Leicester City. Um, it was a, it was a tough game. Uh, the manager oh. made a, a lot of ch um, changes. Uh, had to, you know, the game's thick and fast. Um, a few guys came off the bench and, and, and did the business. You scored the winning penalty. Uh, what were your memories of, of that game in that moment? Yes, more more than a penalty, obviously massive moment, but the first goal yeah. because we were um, two nil, uh, two three one down, uh, trailing by two goals, and I scored the three two, and he gave us that final momentum for the for the last minutes to push on, and Taki with a, with a great goal to send us to two penalties, and uh, obviously then uh, decisive moment. I was lucky enough to to score, and uh, yeah, I remember because their fans were not. Uh, uh, I would say the best ones, trying to think things during the game. I was in the bench and I was like, ah, I don't like this. If I go on, I will score. And uh, that was my feelings at the, the first half mainly. Um, and then I couldn't contain myself <laughs> when I scored the winner. But the fans love that though, that kind of thing. You know, yeah. you really like to see that, you know, someone's a little bit, you know, especially in Liverpool, that someone's a bit sort of spiky <laughs> in those yeah. moments. So we didn't mind that at all. Yeah, well... Uh, it was a really a spontaneous reaction, I'll say. Um, but yeah, it was a great moment for me and for the team and for the fans because maybe three one down, you are not expecting to go through. Uh, so that's football. That's why we we just love it. Yeah, absolutely. You mentioned Taki there as well, and you know I talked about. The, the couple of games where, where Mo and Sadio went here and, and you yeah. really stepped up in that Arsenal one. You know, Taki and Divock have had some big moments um, in this season. Is the, is the faith in the squad that, you know, amongst all of you, that, that different people will, will step up at different moments and, and, and have those kind of win, winning moments for Liverpool? Yes, I think we have big squad, I'll say, when we, everyone is fit. Uh, and everyone has the ability to, to play and to, to be decisive. Uh, they have been deciding. Uh, if you if you look, they have uh, scored uh, quite a few goals and important because um, their opportunities are coming maybe more in the cups and that stuff. But they are uh, scoring in those games always when they are on the pitch. Uh, we know they are capable of. 
Uh, remember the winner against Wolves, for example, mm. for, for Div. Uh, so, yeah, we trust everybody and we know everybody has the, the, um, the quality to make the difference in, uh, in each game. Yeah. Um, and that's what it takes uh, for you to be involved and to play so many games. You need everybody yeah. uh, ready to play and ready to be decisive. Yeah. yeah, and that's what we've seen, certainly, this, this season. We've talked a little bit about the crowd, you know, that big away following at Arsenal. That night against Leicester, I thought Anfield was absolutely brilliant yeah. and, and really sort of got behind the boys and, and made a big difference. You must love that because, of course, when you first came to Liverpool, you know, you paid almost a full season yeah. with, with no crowd. That must have felt a bit cruel because, you know, you'd come to this club, you know, with a famous atmosphere, yeah. famous fans, and you're like, big where are they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone talked to, to me about that. Uh, I was scoring some winners, late winners, um, in the direction of the cop. Uh, and people say, well, you're going to love when this is going to be full. If you are scoring those winners, it will be like really special. Um, but yeah, I needed to wait a long time, uh, COVID times. But now they are on our back and uh, we can make uh, a bright future. Yeah. yeah, so you're loving it. Together. You're loving, you know, playing in front of a full cop and, and yeah. you're feeling that. Yeah, well. You, you are in Portugal, uh, you know, everyone loves the, the atmosphere in Liverpool. Uh, so when I had the, the chance to join the club, that's one of the things you are, you are looking for, uh, playing the full Anfield. And uh, it took a while for me to, to happen, <laughs> but when it did, it was special. And uh, we know uh, the impact that he has on the other team, that's uh, special uh, yeah. for us and for, for the game. When you, when you did join then, or when, when Liverpool first approached you and were interested, you know, there's, there's a front three at Liverpool that's very famous, yeah. that they play so well together, you know, Salah, Mane and Firmino, you know, they're, they're well famous as individuals, but also as a collective. When, when you're sort of faced with that, really, is it a case of, well, I back myself to, to be as good as those guys and to, and to complement those, or you think, oh, a brilliant opportunity to, to play with them. What's going on in your mind when you're going into, as a forward, to a club which has got, as I say, such established stars there. Yeah, confident in yourself and uh, being uh, know that you are able to 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 fight for a place, obviously. But like I go there and uh, uh, I can improve with those guys as well. So mm. go and have a try, and you never see what happens. Uh, obviously, hard work, uh, training, games, and obviously when we have uh, such quality around the team, it's easier to score goals in Liverpool than it was in Wolves. Basically, that was my, my main thought. And uh, fortunately for me, that happened straight away in my first Premier League game against Arsenal again. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's like uh, key moments, important moments. And uh, we just build and build on that. Yeah, you've had so many big moments already in a Liverpool share. So I would just want to talk about a couple from this season, if you don't mind, a couple of yeah. big wins for us supporters that we loved. Um, Old Trafford, 5-0 <laughs> is, I mean, it's absolutely incredible. You know, I thought I'd, I'd live my whole life without seeing Liverpool, you know, go there and, and dominate them like yeah. you did. You, you scored on the day. Um, how was that game for you and, and for, the, for the team? Well, it is one of those games when the things start to kick off straight away. Everything is working. Uh, they are trying to press us and they can't. We are finding the spaces. We score early. We score uh, every time we go there. And uh, well, it's one of those games that it's hard to repeat, we know. Yeah. But we just took uh, full advantage. And first half was tremendous. One of the best uh, I played here. Uh, second half, not so much, we, uh, and then they, they got 10, reduced to 10 men, if mm. I remember correct, they sit back and well, uh, the game just went to the end, but in the end, 5-0, like you said, the way it's, uh, it's historical and a moment to remember for, for a long time. Your goal, you could be sliding in at the back. Yeah. James Milner's behind, yeah. Is he out of the way because he hates them, you know, so he'd love to uh, score. <laughs> yeah, well, at the moment, I obviously didn't see him because, he's, like you said, he's on my back. But yeah, he, he said after a tough time, if you don't score, I'll, I'll live, kill you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we know how it is. Uh, everyone is happy as long as the ball hits the back of the net and that's what happens, so. Yeah. Um, I reckon he'd have preferred to score it himself, but I'm sure he was happy for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially Milner. Yeah, he's yeah. always, uh, he's, as you know, he's a big team player. Yeah. So uh, obviously you like to score, but he's always happy when the team wins. Yeah. You mentioned before that you don't overthink it. And, and does that approach help in a game like that at Old Trafford? Because we're all looking around going, I can't believe we're fleeing all up here. But you guys, you just carried on and carried on and, and just went. Does that, does that help then that you're not, you know, 
you're not stopping and thinking, we're feeling a lot against Man United. Yeah. yeah, especially when the game is on. I, my mind is all, always 100% on the game. Uh, and I don't kind of think, I just want to make it better. Um, it doesn't really matter if it's three, we want four. If it's four, we want five. And if it's five, we want six. Uh, that's how, how it is. And um, well, we built very well on that game from the back. They were trying to press, like I said, they couldn't. And well, we, we felt we were on top of the game and we just yeah. kept having goals. That was great. Yeah, no, it was brilliant. It's been a brilliant <laughs> day and they'll live with us <laughs> forever. So thanks for that. But also, Goodison Park, I want to mention as well. It was another big win. Not, not quite uh, as big in terms of the scoreline, yeah. but before one at uh, Goodison Park, you know, absolutely brilliant night. Uh, you got another great goal in that, uh, straight over to our end um, yeah. afterwards as well. Uh, what's your memories of that night and that finish? Well, uh, tough game when you go there, always yeah. tough. Uh, I remember even it was, uh, it was tough because of uh, the circumstances of the field. It looks small, you know, like uh, uh, it's not like that field that you are looking to, to have a big display and you control the game. Uh, and it wasn't like that. Uh, they press us really high. They tried to um, to steal balls, they, they score like that. Uh, but uh, like I said, once again, the finishing was uh, up there. Yeah. Uh, with a great goal from, from Endo to, yeah. to open. Um, so that obviously helps. And then, uh, like you said, I could get my goal. It was a good one. And the fans were just there. And uh, you could see on their, on their faces how much it meant to them uh, being 4-1 uh, up. And I, I, I couldn't control myself once again. <laughs> uh, I thought you were going to come in at one uh, point. That, was, uh, that are special moments that uh, you will remember because you know how, how much it means to, to them. And when you are able to, uh, to feel their expectations, it's, it's great. So are you, when you're on the pitch, are you thinking, if I get one here, I'm going to be straight over to our fans? Or is it just instinct? No, no, it just happens. It just yeah. happens. Uh, like I said, I'm focused on the, on the, on the pitch when I have to need to, to do to score goals and to be involved. And, uh, well, when I scored, you see the silence all over the stadium, apart from that big, big part as our fans. And it just ran into them to celebrate a uh, special moment. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. When, you, when you're playing against team like Everton, it's a, it's a amazing side derby. You mentioned there, you know how much it means to to the fans. Are the players sort of extra motivated to do a good job in those games because you know sort of how much it means to us? Yeah, always oh, special game. You can see even uh, the way they play, it's m even more aggressive. You know, it's, it means, it, we know how much it means and we need to put that on the game. Uh, we know that if we are not 100% on the game, they mm. will be on top of us, so we need to avoid that and uh, try to practice our, our football and to win the game. That's basically it. Yeah, you scored some goals since you've joined. You know, it's, it's, it's gone fantastically well for you. Uh, I'm sure you're not surprised. You said before you sort of backed yourself. But do you think you've gone up a level as a footballer being at Liverpool or do you think it's more, things are more set up here for you to showcase just how good you are? No, I think both, but obviously, um, you, you want to, to do things right. I, I do think that I, I have lots of room to improve. Um, I get in those, in those decisive positions a lot of times. Yeah. And obviously, because we play attacking football, I get more opportunities to score. But I, I do think that I could, could have scored more already. And uh, that's what I, I, I focus because I, will, I always want to improve and I'm not uh, happy. I'd say, obviously, I'm happy, but I'm not happy enough. I know that I can do more. And uh, this team is able to, to produce those chances for me to, to take it. So, yeah, very excited, looking forward for the future, obviously. We didn't see all these headers coming, I'll be honest with you, when we signed No, yeah. not even myself. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, I talk, everyone likes to talk about that, that topic, obviously. It's hard for me to explain. Uh, yeah. I. I well, obviously in Wolves, we had the Jimenez, he played the central role. He got those headers, let's say like that, when we had the chance. Uh, I did score some, um, but not too much, obviously. And here, uh, I don't know, the, the chances are just uh, coming and I, I'm able to put them away. But it's not like I did special work or something. Uh, I think it was on myself and I was uh, 
uh, waiting to discover that yeah. <laughs> as well. Yeah. Just like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> as I say, it's my first time at Axel and I'm, I'm, it's absolutely beautiful. You know, I feel like a better footballer just for being here, to be honest with you. I mean, still, yeah. still, still, still rubbish, like, but, uh, but is everything set up for you guys here it's for, for you to shine and to, for you to, to perform at, at the right top of the ability? Yeah, well, I, I was in Melwood for, I don't know, precisely how long, but still a while. I could see like how much how much he meant to, to the the fans to, to be around, uh, trying to, to see over the <laughs> over the um, the training center. Here obviously is a lot more private. Uh, it's new, a lot of conditions, so yeah. uh, it's it's great for everyone and here we are able to to train whatever one we want to do on the pitch and uh, well uh, we have all the conditions we need, like you can see. Yeah. Uh, so there is no excuses. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's 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 breathtaking. So <laughs> looking out there. Uh, I want to ask a little bit about about you before, if you don't mind. So Diogo, we know what a sensation footballer you are. Um, everyone knows about the FIFA stuff. Uh, yeah. You're a FIFA champion. Uh, you've got your team and stuff like that. But I believe yeah. you you play a bit of football manager as well. That's that's more my game. So okay. I want to know as a footballer, sort of how you approach football manager. Do you go Liverpool? Do you or do you sort of is that is that a bit too close to home? No, actually, I did this season. Yeah. Um, I took Liverpool uh, for <coughs> just one and a half seasons um, till I won the Champions League. Okay. So that's basically my target. Um, normally, I started in lower leagues and I tried to win the Champions League. Yeah. But with Liverpool, it was on the on the first season, uh, on the second season. Sorry. So that was it. Uh, game over for me <laughs> after two years, <laughs> and now I play with my brother uh, most of the times in Portugal. We are playing. So when you're Liverpool, be honest. Have you sold any of your mates here? Have you <laughs> let anyone go? Yeah, I did. I did <laughs> sold some. Uh, it happens. <laughs> it's, it's not football, against them. It? It's, it's football. football. Um, I, I did great signings as well. So no, no space for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna give us any uh, any sneaking tips on it <sighs> on place to place to buy? Good ones to pick up. Well, it is Mbappe because <laughs> he's he's, he's, uh, he runs out of contract, <laughs> so it's a it's an easy uh, target, I would say. Um, so yeah, that's the one. If you are in a big club, you want to sign. <laughs> oh, well, we'll give Michael Edwards a knock on the way down and say, say <laughs> yeah. he, might, he might not have yeah, realized. Yeah, because that, that's real life. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody realized, but yeah, we can give him a. A shout out. <laughs> <laughs> and away from, from football, then obviously you've got the game and uh, I know you've got your family here and, and you, you love your dogs as well. Yeah. Well, I had an, another funny story. Um, maybe uh, people don't really know about it, but uh, I was a father one year ago. But before that, my, my dog also had the puppies. Okay. Just two weeks before uh, my kid uh, was born. So that was two crazy weeks. Um, <laughs> I can remember why my wife, she was pregnant and we were sleeping in, um, uh, in the couch so we can stay uh, near the puppies and make sure everything was fine. Uh, but yeah, uh, now I kept uh, two. I gave the others to, to family and friends. Uh, so yeah, three dogs now, three beagles. It's, it's crazy <laughs> at home, it's crazy at home. And, uh, and uh, my son obviously walking around um, yeah, full and uh, excited house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. So if your boy's won then, then he's a scouser, uh, surely born here. Yeah, and... yeah, that's true. I've been told straight away he's now a scouser. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Um, so um, is it a decent football team amongst the, uh, the, the kids? Because quite a few of the, the players have got, have got little children. So maybe a next generation football team there. Well, yeah, I never know. Obviously, there's still a long journey for them uh, until they, they are in professional football or something. But yeah, uh, obviously, I would like him to, to be a footballer, but you never know. <laughs> and uh, you just want him to, to be happy, you know, your kids. So that's how I, that's my main wish. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just before we finish up, because everyone's going to be shouting at me, Diogo needs to go get treatment. We need, <laughs> we need him on the pitch on Sunday, so we'll hold you up out too much longer. But, you know, just to, just to finish up on the, on the final, for you guys, there must be that huge motivation there because it feels to us as supporters that this season could be a really special one. Obviously, you know, the, the, the team, you know, needs to go out there and, uh, and win the games, but it does feel like there's a real potential to us anyway as supporters for this to be a, a really memorable season. Well, he has the potential. 
Uh, but to reach the, uh, the potential, there's a lot of work to do. And uh, on Sunday, we face Chelsea, world champions. <laughs> it's not going to be easy yeah. by any means. So, uh, yeah, game by game uh, is the next one. Final, we're going to give 100% to make sure um, the cup is with us in the end. Yeah, well, good yeah. luck. Obviously, uh, we'll be down there cheering for you. Hopefully, uh, see you on, on the pitch as well. Um, I've got a little present for you just right. to um, hopefully wish you luck. Maybe you could wear it on the way down there. Uh, that is you. <laughs> uh, that is a silhouette yeah. of you. And it's got the it's got the song on there as well, Better Than Figo, Don't You oh, Know. So that's you. a little gift there uh, for you. you. So, uh, yeah, I hope you like it. Yeah, I do. It's the Portugal yeah. colours as well. <laughs> <laughs> Missing the yellow there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Top man, and thanks, thanks so much for your time today. And as I say, hopefully we'll see you on the pitch on Sunday. Thank you, take care, man.